severe weather season now, Kelly, and I know we're dealing with some strong storms here tonight. Right. We're not out of the possibility of seeing some of these flare-ups. I don't think it'll be a widespread event, but okay. we could see some isolated thunderstorms. We've already had some very heavy rain out of these showers, and this is just the past hour. It's been mainly rain over the past couple of hours, but we did have a few stronger storms that moved across the area, dumping some heavy rain, and you can see in excess here, radar estimates around an inch to over an inch in some spots, especially in west central Indiana. Here's a wider look the past six hours of these showers and thunderstorms they've been lifting off to the northeast, moving quickly to about 60 miles per hour. We're watching for this drier air to start to move in, and then the cold front will start to arrive. It's already triggering some stronger storms in central Illinois. All of this will be pushing into central Indiana. We have some dynamics in the upper levels and at the surface that could produce some of those stronger storms. Looks like damaging winds will be our main threat, but uh, we are going to continue to see an active evening as these temperatures start to rise. They've been holding near steady in the upper 30s most of the afternoon. Now we're already at 45 degrees in Indianapolis, 55 in Seymour, 42 degrees in Crawfordsville. And that's because the winds are starting to shift. As this warm front lifts to the north, the winds are starting to shift from out of the east to now out of the southeast, and they are breezy, sustained over 20 miles per hour. And the Storm Prediction Center has included central Indiana in this outlook of severe weather. So all of central Indiana at a risk of seeing some of these stronger storms, and I expect those to arrive after 7 p.m. So we'll go hour by hour through this. During the 7 o'clock hour, we may just see some good old-fashioned thunderstorms and some heavy rain. But then as we get into about 8 o'clock tonight, we'll start to see these dynamics picking up with some of these isolated thunderstorms developing. They could be anywhere across central Indiana, but the better chance is going to be along and south of I-70. That's where the better dynamics will be. Then we'll continue into the 9 o'clock hour. Still some strong thunderstorms, possibly severe, possible during that 9 o'clock hour. As we get to around 10 o'clock in the evening, it'll push off into east central Indiana. Then just some spotty showers left over as the storm system moves out. Temperatures will climb into the upper 40s and low 50s this evening. Because of these breezy winds out of the south, the threat of severe weather will end after around 11 o'clock tonight. And then the winds start to increase. We have a wind advisory that moves in later on this evening, continuing through about mid-morning on Sunday for most of central Indiana because the winds are going to be gusting between 45 and 50 miles per hour. Take a look at these Sustained winds this evening starting the timeline here at 7 p.m. The winds will shift more out of the south, sustained between 15 and 25. Those gusts will start to increase, especially during the overnight hours. And then by 10 o'clock in the morning, they'll start to relax. And then things will be breezy through the day on Sunday, not nearly as windy. Tomorrow, a better day. We will see those temperatures climbing into the mid-40s tomorrow afternoon. It will be a chilly day, but we'll see some sunshine when it's all said and done. So still not out of the risk of seeing some strong storms tonight. High of 44 tomorrow. We are dry and quiet for a few days. Chance of rain on Wednesday. Better chances of thunderstorms early Thursday. And then temperatures warm up to near 70 degrees.